Hi there, this is Jennifer with Broomfield, and today I'm going to go over my friendship headband pattern. Um, first of all, I'll let you know I am using Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick, a super chunky yarn. Um, I'm using it in linen, and I'm using needle size 11 with a 16 inch cable, but you don't have to use a cable. You can just use regular needles. I just, um, I am partial to my cable needle, so that's really about all I knit with. And then you're going to need a cable needle to do the cable. So I got a little bit started here so you have an idea before you start knitting. I can kind of go through um, some tips. So the outside two stitches are a rib stitch, so they alternate between knit and purl. And the two stitches on either side of the cable are both purl stitches. And this is looking at the front. And then the six stitches in the middle are all knit stitches. So to tell what row you're on, because sometimes, um, yeah, forget counting or you miss um, a row, I always like to count my rows. And even another, another tip is on your eighth, so you don't have to continue counting from the very beginning to tell where you are. Whenever you do a cable row, just put a stitch marker out here so you know what row you did that on so you don't have to count all of them. So I'm on row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm, in a, I'm on row 11, which is an odd row. And all odd rows are exactly the same. And this is the back. So you have an idea of what the back looks like now that I have some rows completed. So we're going to purl the first two stitches and this is every odd row. So purl four and knit two and then we're going to purl six. Oops. Knit two those will always be the same. And this out one, outside two, are always alternating. So purl, stitch, knit, stitch. So we're going to purl those two. Now we're back to the front. And the front is always the same also, except for the rows where we're going to do our cable. So that was row 11, so this is going to be row 12. We always begin with a purl stitch. So all of the even rows are going to be purl four, knit six, purl four. So we purled those four and now we're going to knit these six. So this is our front. And then purl four. Now we are on row 13 on the back. Purl two, knit two, purl four, I'm sorry, purl six. So once you have the pattern established, it's pretty easy to remember the pattern. It's just kind of getting it started that first eight rows and then it's pretty easy to knit after that. So knit two and purl two. So that was row 13, so this is row 14. We're going to purl four. Knit six. And purl four. And row fifteen back. Oops. Split it. Purl two. Knit two. 
and purl six. Knit two and purl two. All right, and now we're on row 16. So the one thing I do like uh, about this pattern and I like to do in my pattern, so it's kind of easy to memorize, um, is having my cables on divisible numbers. So every eight rows, so 8, 16, 24, 32, is going to be a cable row. So this is row 16. So we're gonna purl four, just like on all the other knit rows, front rows. And we're gonna grab our cable needle and take three off. We're gonna hang them there in the front. And then we're going to knit these three here and grab our cable needle here and knit these three off the cable needle. And then purl our last four stitches here. And that is the beginning works of the cable headband. That is so pretty. So I think I might finish this up and do a giveaway for it because that's super pretty. I love this color and it actually has been discontinued. So that is my friendship headband uh, knitting pattern. I hope you found that to be helpful. And let me know if you have any questions. Um, you just email me. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope you found that to be helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching.